And let's get right to the breaking news. The verdicts in the civil case against organizers of the Unite the Right rally back in 2017. CNN's Brian Todd is in Charlottesville. Uh, Brian, what did the jury say? Well, this is a devastating financial blow to some of the most notorious white supremacists and white nationalist groups in the country, uh, Jim. The plaintiff's attorneys declaring unequivocal victory tonight, saying this sends a clear message to anyone who comes to a town like Charlottesville to deliver messages of hatred. Tonight, the jury awarded the plaintiffs in the Unite the Right trial more than $26 million in compensatory and punitive damages on several claims. Among them, finding five defendants were liable for racial, religious, or ethnic harassment or violence under a Virginia state law, and that all the defendants participated in a conspiracy. I think this verdict today is a message that this country does not tolerate violence based on racial and religious hatred in any form. In addition, James Alex Fields Jr., the driver of the car that plowed into the crowd of counter-protesters, killing one and injuring dozens, was found liable for more than $12 million for assault or battery and for inflicting emotional distress. There's going to be accountability uh, for the people who did this. More than half of the damages against Fields, the rest spread among various defendants from the white nationalist movement. The defendants in the case are destitute. None of them have any money. I don't know how any of the plaintiffs are going to get anything for any of this. The jury was deadlocked on the first two claims that organizers conspired to commit racial violence or failed to prevent it. The evidence included victim testimony about the injuries they sustained from brawling at the rally and Fields' car that rammed through the crowd. And private communications allegedly showing organizers discussing the potential for violence, quote, cracking skulls, and even whether it's legal to drive into protesters. But the defendants said they didn't plan the violence, it wasn't their fault, and that what they said before the rally was hyperbole and is protected free speech. The damages awarded by the jury mean a judgment against some of America's most notorious white nationalists, including Richard Spencer, Jason Kessler, and Christopher Cantwell. The damages will go to the plaintiffs, who include some of those most severely injured in the car ramming and the brawling. I think we did a decent job on the defense side, cutting the damages down to size, even though it is many millions of dollars. This civil trial, an effort by activists to financially cripple the white nationalist movement. It sets a precedent, which is that if you conspire to commit violent acts, especially on racial grounds, you should expect that plaintiffs uh, will file suit against you under these federal and state laws in the future. And so the trial in that way is a deterrent against future white supremacist conduct of the kind that we saw in, uh, in Charlottesville in August 2017. Now, the attorneys for uh, de defendants, at least two of the attorneys for the defendants, have told us a short time ago that they are going to try to reduce the amount of damages, to reduce those dollar amounts assessed to their clients in this case. Uh, some of these people, these white supremacists, have already been financially crippled by this and other similar lawsuits. But this is not over for many of them because the plaintiff's attorneys also told us that on those two counts that they could not reach verdicts on, those two counts of com conspiracy to commit racially motivated violence, those federal counts, they are going to try to bring those cases again, Jim, so they're going to keep going after these people. A bad day for people who spread hate and violence. Uh, Brian Todd, thanks so much for that.